G'day guys, it's a pretty gloomy day where I am at the moment, um, so I thought I'd just uh, try and get through a backlog of these questions that you guys have been asking me. Um, this one here, we've got a applications of integration question, I guess you'd call it. Um, the trick is with this one that they're asking us to calculate the area of the region bound between the y-axis and the curves. y equals 2 on x plus 2, y equals 1, and y equals 2. So basically what they're asking us to do in this question is they're asking us to find this area here. Yeah, I was never very good at colouring in any way. Um, Alright, so we're being asked to find this area here. Now this we're going to go about this basically exactly the same as a regular integration question. There's only one small nuance that we have to do, and that's with the question with the curve that we're bounding it with, like this y equals two over x plus two. We're going to have to make x the subject of this and y be the independent variable. So then we can integrate with respect to y rather than with respect to x. Now the lines y equals one and y equals two. We don't have to do anything with them because basically they're just the boundaries of our integration. Okay, so what I mean with what we're going to have to do to this, we have to make x the subject, is we're going to do a little bit of algebra to start with. So the first bit we're going to do is I'm going to go, well, y is equal to, y, sorry, is equal to, we're going to times it by x plus 2, and that equals 2. Then we've got, so this is going to be x, y, plus 2y equals 2. I'm going to move the 2y over the other side. And finally, I'm going to divide each side by y. Cool. So now what I have is I have my x as the subject of the equation and then my y is now my independent variable. So I can calculate the area bound between the y-axis because I'm treating the y-axis like I would normally treat the x-axis as the independent variable. So what we're going to do now is we're literally going to just dif uh, differentiate. We're going to integrate this with respect to y over the boundaries 1 to 2. That's not too complicated. So what we're going to do is let's get that under control. So we're going to go, well, the area of that, the red shaded bit, is going to be equal to the integral from 1 to 2 of the function we've just found, 2 minus 2y over y dy with respect to y. Okay, now this on the face of it would look like a relatively challenging integration question but what we're going to do is we're going to split it up. So this is a fairly stock standard method to do these integral problems is we're going to go well this is equal to the one the integral from 1 to 2 of 2 over y dy minus the integral from 1 over two, 1 to 2 of 2y on y, which is just the integral from 1 to 2 of 2 dy. Great, so what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate those two integrals. We're going to go, well, the first one, this um, is a natural logarithm function that will precipitate out a... Um, make something go into the base. So what we have is this area is then going to be equal to... We're going to evaluate, this is, the integral of that is 2 ln y, evaluated from 1 to 2, and that's being minus by, the integral of 2 is 2y, evaluated from 1 is to 2. Now, you then get out your little calculator, and you 
go 2 ln 2 minus 2 ln 1 and that gives us a value of 1.3863. Then for this piece, so we minus away, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2 times 2 is 2, 4 take 2 is 2, and this gives us an area at the end equal to negative 0 0.6137. Okay, and we write the units in here. This is going to be units squared. Okay. So basically this is a relatively easy problem once you get your head around the fact that you're not differentiating with boundaries set on the x-axis, you're, you're differentiating, sorry, you're integrating with boundaries set on the x-axis, you're rather you're integrating with boundaries set on the y-axis. So all we have to do is we make, instead of y being the subject of the equation, the first thing we do is we change it up and make, make x the subject of the equation. And then we would integrate it with respect to y like we would normally do. So I hope this video helped. If it does, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time and you can ask me problems. Ask me questions about problems you'd like solved. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you again.